Hey, what's up guys? It's the Idiot Proof DIY Guy coming to you with another video. Hey, listen, I'm going to be showing you today how to install a Trek 2 OBL 2 SL output on your Hammond M3 organ. All right, so listen, if this is something that you need to know about, obviously it is if you clicked on this video, if you searched it uh, here on YouTube, and you found this video, you clicked on it, so you're about to learn how to do this today. Hey, I was in a place at our church where we could not afford to purchase a Leslie. Like, that's not where we need to put our money. And so I went with the next best option, which was to use some software in a DAW, and I'll link that as well, what software we're gonna be using uh, to give us that Leslie sound and, and really, have our organ sounding like a real church organ, right? And so uh, we're gonna be showing you all of that, but first we gotta show you how to hook this thing up. And let me show you what you need. This is the Trek 2 OBL-2-SL line output connector box, okay? You can order it in the link below. You can see exactly what you need to order and it'll be shipped right to your house. You take it and you do this with it, and I promise you, you'll have the sound that you're looking for. If you got an older organ, or maybe you got a, uh, an organ where you just can't afford to purchase a Leslie with it, and you, so you need to go to a different option. Here it is, let's jump in. And this is our Hammond M3 organ. This is what we use here at our church, and I'm so excited about showing you guys how to get this sound that we got out of this organ. First thing, of course, you want to do is take off the back. Uh, we went ahead and got that taken off for you. Um, as you can see, our serial number is in the 70,000s, and this, um, the Trek 2 comes with instructions that'll tell you exactly how to do this in according to what model and what serial number you have. Uh, so I have the uh, 90,000 less serial numbers, because we're in the 70,000s, and so I had to follow the instructions for that particular one. Here's the box right here. I went ahead and mounted it. All right, here's the box. Again, it's Trek 2, OBL-2, and this is the SL. This is the SL, because I have a speaker, okay, mounted in without the reverb. All right, it's an M3, so if you got an M3, this is the one you need, all right? There's a yellow wire, and it's in the instructions. Um, for certain organs, there's a yellow wire that comes inside the box that's already connected that they advise you to disconnect, all right? And so if you have a certain organ where this wire needs to be disconnected, you go ahead and you cut it off and disconnect it, all right? So that's what we did, all right? But there it is, it's mounted. You can mount it anywhere on the inside of the organ. You can mount it. Wherever you so feel best, this is where I decided to mount ours, um, and we are excited to show you. The beauty about this one is it has the mute switch, on off switch right here, so you can turn it on, turn it off. Uh, that's to control the speaker here, all right? So if you want the speaker on, you can turn it on, switch it on, but for us, we do not want it on, so we put it over here on mute, okay? There it is again, OBL-2-SL. All right, so comes with some twist ties, comes with some screws to mount your box, uh, comes with a red jumper, and it comes with a uh, gray wire nut. So there it is in there, already used the screws. Of course, it's already mounted. And so there's that. Also comes with the instructions that you're gonna need. All right, and you follow these instructions to the T and they got it outlined so well. So 
big ups to Trek 2 um, products, you know, for being able to give us pretty easy, self-explanatory instructions. All right, so I went ahead and connected some of the wires already. First thing we had to do was take off this connector here. And we unhooked it. It was this one here. And we connected it with the red wire that's connected to the box. So the red wire that comes out of here we connect it to the green wire that we pull from here. And uh, I know it's not fully connected yet, but we're just doing this to test it. Um, then, where we pull from here, we took the green wire that also comes from the box. Okay, green wire that comes from the box. And we go here, connect that here. You'll solder it on. You'll solder it on here where you pull that green wire from. All right. And then after that, you will take the black wire from the box. You'll take the black wire and you'll come and connect it to this speaker terminal signal here cable here you don't have to unplug or unhook anything just hook it on to it all right so the last thing that we had to do was connect this white wire that's coming from the box and connect it to the chassis here and then we did it by um, unscrewing one of the mounting screws and connecting it down to ground it all right, so once you do that, you should be ready to play. So let's test it. All right, so we got it running here. Speaker is on. So we should be able to hear the speaker. Speaker's on down there. So what we'll do now, is turn this switch to mute and that should turn the speaker off and here we go now we're playing it's coming out of the house it's exactly how we want it so what we did, we went ahead and since we found out everything was working, we went ahead and hooked everything up the way it's supposed to be. Everything is soldered on. Uh, got the wire nuts there. Soldered on back there. We got um, ground wire. Everything is hooked up. So come around here, you know, plug in to the out box here output and the way I got this running so that you can run it from your MacBook or whatever software you want to run the way I got it coming out of here going into I'm gonna focus right here so going into here of course you're going out of there into the MacBook all right as of right now, this what I'm just trying it out with is Logic and the Roto, Roto cabinet here on Logic. Um, it's not the best, but you know, this ain't what we're gonna be using anyway. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the description of what we're gonna use. So if you wanna download that and try that, you can try that. Uh, so we're gonna give y'all a sound test, all right? I got my man Calvin here. He's going to give y'all a little test. I can't play organ. Uh, so we're going to get somebody on here that can. All right, so y'all take a listen. This is without the cabinet.
power on the cabinet. It gives that Leslie sound. How you do it folks so once again this been the idiot proof diy guy hey i hope that i help y'all out with this video if you like it go ahead give me a like subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell all right so that you'll be updated next time we upload the next video god bless you peace out